In this tutorial, you'll learn about variables in Dexterous and why they're handy for certain kinds of game designs. So I'm working on a game here that has a lot of icons in it, and I want to show the icons in line inside the text. So for example, on this field card over here, instead of saying to food, I want to show a little icon. How I would usually do this is insert an inline image here like this. So I'd go find the right image here and I want a food icon, which I've got so many images here. This is a very old project. Um, I've got my two food image there. I click that and I can see that that inserts this path to the image and there it is there. So for example, it could look like that, plus two food to this card. So that's all well and good. The problem with this um, is that it's still quite long and verbose. And imagine if I had a Google Sheet with this information in it very quickly, if I had a few icons, it would fill up the cells in my sheet and be become quite hard to read. This is where variables are super useful. So if you open up this two curly braces thing, I'm going to just copy this. So I'm going to say, okay, I've got this, this whole piece of string here that's referring to this this image, this two food image, and I'm going to make a new variable. A variable is a find and replace essentially. So I'm going to say blah, and I want to replace blah with this. So if I save this now, and instead of this, if I type in blah, it's actually going to get replaced with that. Of course, I don't really want blah, I want something that I'll remember. So I'll go back into my variables and I'll change this to the syntax that I've been using to food. You can see it's there. I've made a lot of different variables here and I want to use to food um, in my text cells and that will get replaced by the to food icon. So that's all well and good. And so blah doesn't work anymore. So I'll have to just update that to to food. Over here in my Google Sheet, you can see that that's actually quite readable here. I've got two food to this card. This is the description for the field card here. And that's actually really easy to read. It's really nice and clean. It's worth mentioning here as well that one advantage of using variables like this is I can update this icon down the track. In the future, if I change this icon, I can update it in a single place. So for example, I've got a different icon that I want to use and I've updated these icons and I've got a new food to food icon here and it's right here. It's this one and I've actually called it the same thing, but it's a WebP image instead of a PNG. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my variable. I'm just going to grab that name, just making sure I got it right there, open up my variables and where I have two food now, I can just replace that with two food dot WebP and every instance of two food will now be calling my new icon. So you'll see that will update instantly to the new icon there. You might also have noticed that in variables that you can actually link it to a CSV. So you can link it there in the normal way. And we've just essentially got two columns, one called project variables and one called project variables text. So these are special reserved names. And so how I've actually done this is over here in my Google Sheet project. I've just got a new tab called variables. So I've just got my two columns here, project variables and project variables text. And having it in Google Sheets like this makes it really nice and easy to update. So to connect your Google Sheet to Dexterous, all you have to do is click File, Share, Publish to Web. And then we want a CSV and we don't want the entire document. We want the variables tab. So we'll click that. We will copy the CSV link and then go back to Dexterous and we'll open up variables and you can click this and paste that CSV link straight into this field and save and close and you hit this to refresh the CSV variables. Of course, you don't just have to use variables for images, you can use them to replace text as well. So for example, if I create a new row here, I can set a project variable to haste I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of it here just so that it doesn't get confused with any other just regular word hastes in my project. And I could set it its replacement text to this character drinks a cup of tea on the first turn they arrive at the tea party. So back in Dexterous here, if I go to my variables and if I, I'll just delete that one there that I worked on earlier, if I refresh the CSV, I'll get the variable that I made there come in with the replacement text and I can save and close 
And back in my project, if I go to this card here, and I've typed in haste here. So if I type it in with the with the dollar sign in front, haste, that'll instantly get replaced with this character drinks a cup of tea, etc. So yeah, if you have a project where you're using a lot of icons or a lot of repeated text, then variables can be a great option to keep your data really clean and tidy and easy to read.